Thank you, Minister. I would like to start by offering my condolences on the tragic death of Minister Evgeny Zinechev. It's a terrible tragedy. Uh, in our tradition in Israel, we say, may his memory be a blessing. 76 years ago, my father, Minister, was a child in the Budapest ghetto. He was destined to die. Then one day he heard people speaking in a language he didn't understand. And my grandmother, who was with him, suddenly lifted her, her head and she said, it's Russian. The Russians have arrived. We are saved. The Red Army saved the world from tyranny and racism, and they also saved the 13-year-old boy in the ghetto, which is my father. Three years later, the people of Russia supported the creation of the State of Israel, and we owe you. And we are a people with a long memory. I want to thank Minister Lavrov for the important meeting we had today and for his years of friendship with Israel. Next month, we will uh, mark 30 years since we renewed our relations. Russia is one of Israel's most significant and important partners. The foreign, ministers and I, foreign minister and I discussed ways to strengthen and deepen these relations between the new government of Israel and the Russian government. We all aspire to bring security and stability in our region and to the world. Unfortunately, there won't be stability in Syria or in the wider Middle East while there is an Iranian presence. Iran is the world's number one exporter of terror. It threatens us all. Israel will not sit quietly by while Iran builds terror bases on a northern border or while Iran supplies advanced weapons to terror organizations, weapons intended to be used against us. We will maintain our ability to defend ourselves in the face of threats from Syria and elsewhere. We, of course, recognize that Russia has key interests in the region. That is why we, form, we formed the military deconfliction mechanism, which is both necessary and effective. The Foreign Minister and I also discussed the Iranian nuclear program and the danger it possesses to the entire world. The two last two IAEA reports are damning. They include serious violations, fraud, deception, and outright lies. The picture is clear and very worrying. A rapidly advancing nuclear program without any effective supervision. The reports demand the Board of Governors' decision. The message to Iran must be loud and it must be clear. Iran's march towards a nuclear weapon is not only an Israeli problem, it's a problem for the entire world. A nuclear Iran will lead to a nuclear arms race in the Middle East. And the last thing any of us want is to see nuclear weapons fall into the wrong hands. The world needs to stop Iran from getting a nuclear capability no matter the price. If the world doesn't do it, Israel reserves the right to act. The Iranians have never hidden the fact that they want to destroy Israel. That is an existential threat to us. Israel will not allow Iran to become a nuclear state or even a nuclear threshold state. Now, I don't want to create the impression that the entire conversation between Mr. Lavrov and myself was about threats and conflicts. Israel and Russia have strong and deep ties in economics, culture, tourism, energy, and science. Without Russia, culture in the world and in Israel wouldn't be the same. Without Dostoevsky and Tolstoy, Tchaikovsky and Rachmaninov, Chekhov and Rachmatov and Gogol, without them our lives would be, our lives all would all be much poorer. We want to build on our strong ties and we can. In a world hurt by the pandemic, we need to find new ways to do business, new ways to develop cultural and economic ties. There are over a million Russian speakers living in Israel today. One of them is our Minister of Tourism, Yoel Kostya Razbozov, 
who is, here, who is here with us today. This is an incredible platform to deepen the ties and to create economic opportunities for both countries. I want to thank Minister Lavrov for the warm welcome and thank President Putin for his friendship and leadership. I look forward to even closer cooperation between our two countries in the coming years. Thank you so much. Добрый день, газета Коммерсант Марианна Бель.